All right, guys, I took out the oil level sensor. It was leaking. I'm gonna re be replacing these two O-rings. Um, and then I'm gonna use a new drain plug as well. I guess this is the next day i'm ready to go i'm gonna be installing the axles today i already rebuilt them i'm about to show you that's pretty awesome i'm super excited everything is brand new on the axles i've got four brand new cv boots new clamps i also painted the axles a little bit as well uh, to make them nicer and yeah it's got fresh grease in there awesome so can't wait to install it on the car and as soon as i do hopefully we'll uh, go ahead and test drive this car um i haven't just driven it since the time when i parked it here literally because i was doing it just like job after job repair after repair on this car because it needed a lot of work but i can't wait to finally install these axles and test drive this amazing machine all right guys here are our uh, uh, cv axles they're looking amazing it's got brand new boots uh, i used phoebe uh, we used phoebe uh, boots so hopefully they last a long time uh, and yeah, I've got new clamps, everything. I painted the axles, they look really nice right now. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to install this back on the car and hopefully everything is amazing, guys. And I've got my bolts that I cleaned up and also just so you know, I'll be using thread locker for these bolts. I'll be using blue thread locker. car itself cannot wait to actually start driving again she's been sitting for like a week right now since the moment when i was doing all the repairs and the work to it so she's definitely going to be happy soon you imagine your customer comes to you and tells you hey something's wrong with my transmission my car is not driving and then you look here oops your axles are missing buddy <laughs> but there she is anyways i'm ready to install this axle on this side and then the other one on that side and it's gonna be good All right, guys, one axle is in, hold bolted up, and I'm just spinning the wheel now to make sure everything is good, and it is. And uh, yeah, I used the blue uh, thread locker for those bolts. Amazing. Another problem that I noticed is that there was uh, bubbling right here and I told the owner and he wanted me to go ahead and fix it. So the way I fix it, I just use a, a pick and then I just start scraping the rust off and then I'm going to use a rust dissolver, wait until this whole area is going to be clean and I'll see the clean metal and then I'll just touch it up right here. And so that's basically the plan. And uh, it's a good idea that we're taking care of it right now. And then I didn't see any more bubbling anywhere around the sunroof, so it's good. Everything else is awesome on this car. It's just this area right here needs to be taken care of. Another problem that the owner complained about was the right front window. He said that when you uh, when, he, when it goes up it's binding but right now it's not binding anymore okay that's me operating it so i'm gonna show you once again i'm gonna go up and you will see that it's not binding at all so 
everything is good so what i did is i just literally i lowered the window down and i just lubricated the tracks this one and that one and fixed the problem next problem that the owner told me about is that when you i've lubricated the sunroof before and the tracks but when you lift it up it used to make a noise in this area and i'll show you what i'm talking about um and i'll close it right now right now everything is nice i really don't hear noises but what was going on is this as you can see that's a rubber seal and when you lift it or tilt it it rubs right here so i just lubricated it and it's all good right now So this is getting soaked in rust dissolver right now and I tried to peel the seal back but I don't want to rip it so I just have to kind of push down on it like this and work around the seal and remove the rest of the rust. So right now I'll be just uh, waiting for this rust dissolver to do its thing and then we'll see. I might have to scrape some more rust off and then I'll touch it up. All right guys, I'm done scraping off the rust from this uh, rusty spot right here. Uh, and right now everything, the metal is all cleaned up, so now I can start touching it up, uh, taping it, and everything. Also guys, uh, we have brand new flex discs, um, transmission mount, and center support on this car. I never replaced it, uh, the shop, some other shop replaced it, but it's nice because the parts are all OEM genuine Mercedes parts made in Germany, so they will last forever. It's amazing. All right, guys, I'm about to replace this center steering uh, link on this car because it's worn out. It's actually original from 1993, and this is brand new. We'll, we'll be getting installed, and it's got lifetime warranty as well, so it's awesome. I'll show you the problem that the current one has. It has some play, so we need to change that. So here's the old one right over here and uh, it's and the boots are tired too and look how loose it is and you won't be able to hear but there's actually play in it if you move it up and down. And there's also a problem with this steering dampener, it's bad. But I don't know if we'll be replacing it right now or next time when I work on this car. And also this car will need lower control arm bushings. They're getting tired. But that's going to be for next time. Um, and then probably next time I'll replace the idler arm right there because it's also original. Other than that, yeah, this car is uh, becoming amazing. Uh, it's great. There was so much work to, uh, done to this car already. So it's almost perfect. It's almost ideal car. All right, guys, the center link is replaced. And uh, what else I did is I lubricated all the suspension boots with uh, silicone paste. Uh, that way they will never ever uh, dry rot and they will be all preserved and good to go. And like I said, next time I'll replace the rest of the steering parts, which is the idler arm and also the steering dampener and other stuff and also needs control arms.